everybody, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. Over the years, I have learned a lot of Kung Fu styles. Of the Kung Fu styles that I've learned, the animal styles are some of my favorite to practice, not just for form training and conditioning, but also for the fighting. And among all the animal styles, the praying mantis is my favorite style. Something about a praying mantis, it's almost like an alien insect who's always trying to lift itself up through the karmic chain trying to ascend to become a higher state of animal. So I always respect that. I think mantis is where it's at. So in this video, I want to show you guys seven strikes of the mantis that I think are an incredible combination of strikes. Classic praying mantis stuff in a mantis stance the entire time. So first up, before we get started, hit the like button for me, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and add it to your favorites. And if you need to watch it more than once, please do so. Memorize this sequence and then after the techniques, I'm going to edit in the fighting so that you guys can see how these seven moves are applied on a person. Praying mantis style kung fu does not always have the mantis hands or the mantis feet or the mantis fingers, okay? A lot of styles of praying mantis and especially beginner styles of praying mantis utilize a lot of punching, hammer fisting, and open hand chops. So first off for this video, I want you guys in a classic mantis stance. Your back foot flat to the ground, your front foot on the heel. And about 90% of your weight is back, 10% of your weight is forward, and your spine is straight right here. And that's our classic mantis stance. And I'll show you why later on during the fighting component of this video. So here's the sequence. First, I want you to lunge forward into a low punch and cover. Then I want you to go forward into a chop and pull this hand in. Then I want you to cover, punch up to the face, again move in, chop again, again move in, hook punch into the head, then move in, two finger strike, two finger strike. And we gotta repeat it on the other side. So once you have left side forward, then spin the right side forward to the same sequence. Spin this way, cover strike, pulling chop punch, pull and chop, hook punch left, jab right, jab right, spin back to the left, heel stance, mantis stance, low punch, tight chop, reverse punch, tight chop, hook punch, finger jab, finger jab, spin, low punch, tight chop, high punch, tight chop, punch, finger jab, finger jab, and again back this direction, back the other direction, that's our sequence, mantis style stance, seven strikes, low, high, 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 fingers, fingers. Seven times on your own, push pause for the moment, and then come back here and we'll watch the fighting component of this video. I'm also gonna post a short clip of this on the Jake Mace Tai Chi Instagram page. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. And also in the comments below, tell me what style of Kung Fu is your favorite, what style of martial arts is your favorite, and the cynics and the trolls down below who want to say that praying mantis kung fu is bullshit. I want the fans of kung fu out there to defend kung fu and tell them how praying mantis is an authentic fighting system. Email me your questions at the jakemace.com email system and I'll see you guys back here in a few seconds for the fighting components of this video. Praying Mantis is one of the most effective Kung Fu styles for fighting. And this particular seven move sequence is striking to vulnerable spots of the human body. So first off, we have the lower stomach. We're gonna try to go between the Dantian and the navel, about the RN8 zone. So hitting into the lower stomach. 
Once we hit them in the lower stomach, then we're going to chop into the neck, okay? The RN22, just above the Adam's apple. So stomach, Adam's apple. From there, I'm going to punch right to the nose and try to hit the DU26 or the nose itself, okay? The DU26 is right where the hollow of the lip is right here. So we have lower stomach, RN22, DU26, RN22 again because the first one wasn't enough. And then coming around the side for that hook punch right into the temple. Okay, temple or the behind the jaw point. After that, we go two jabs either to both ST9 points in the neck or to the eyes. And that's our seven move combination. So once again, stomach, neck, nose, neck, temple, jab, jab to the eyes. Again, stomach, neck, nose, neck, temple, jab, jab to the neck. Again, stomach, neck, nose, neck, temple, jab, jab, or stomach, neck, nose, neck, temple, jab to the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this seven move sequence, the weapons for the praying mantis fighter are the knuckles. So if you guys see my knuckles, I always try to make the first two knuckles on the fist the most prominent two. And I had one teacher who was very skillful in the animal styles of Kung Fu say only the middle one is your most important knuckle. And so when I'm doing my hook punch, I don't have the luxury of being taped up like a professional fighter in the cage today, like Rage in the Cage type stuff, MMA. So I have to make sure that I hit in a way that maximizes my impact but also protects my joints at the same time. So my knuckle comes in trying to hit to his jaw or his temple, focusing on hitting him with those first two knuckles. It's not important to swing at my opponent with maximum power in my arm. I don't have to be maximum power because when that knuckle connects correctly, the bones will do all the work for me and will cause a lot of impact to his brain and to his skin, neutralizing his attack or allowing you enough distance to get away. Second, we have the fifth metacarpal of the hand. This part of our hand is one of the main weapons of a praying mantis style kung fu fighter. Okay, the fifth metacarpal. We have to do iron palm training, which is why I would encourage all of you guys to go get my iron bone DVD at jakemace.com or get the iron bone download because iron bone is one of the most important parts of Chinese kung fu because with it, we make parts of the body that are normally vulnerable strong. Okay, so that fifth metacarpal of the hand can be a great weapon in the praying mantis fighting system and it is in this seven move sequence then our fingers we want to curl all five fingers into one like the tiger claw and then extend these two and that's the finger position we're going to use for the finger strikes here we're going to go jabbing in jabbing in jabbing in jabbing in mantis uses different finger positions and this is the one for this one you can practice this by you know medium power just thrusting in at your iron palm bag or you can do fingertip push-ups instead of palm push-ups to make your fingertips stronger. Just make sure when you do them, instead of being bent uh, backwards like this for your push-ups, make sure that the hand is rounded like this so that you get the muscles and the joints of the hand conditioned in the right way. Rounded fingertip push-ups are much more difficult, but they're important if you plan on using those fingertips for fighting. Praying Mantis masters have to be ferocious, have to be fast, and they have to work their techniques in combination. So when his first punch comes in low, I smother it and immediately go for two combinations. Low punch, high chop. Very, very fast. Again, punch comes in, boom, two hit combination. Again, boom, two hit. One, two, okay? Once that happens, he might come out with the other hand because he's open for my face right there. So I cover with this one again and go for the uppercut punch into the body, chop immediately after. Another two hit combination. Again, the punch comes in, smother it, hit, hit. Again, it comes in, smother it, hit, hit. So all together we have the first hand, block, hit, hit, smother, hit, hit. Four move combinations right there. Again, cover, strike, strike, cover, strike, strike. Right from there, he might go for a haymaker with the right hand, block it this way, hit him with my haymaker instead, and then finish him with those two finger jabs to the neck or the eyes. If your fingers aren't strong enough yet, you can always go for two palm strikes right to the face. So all three attacks from the opponent are low, hit, hit, 
high, hit, hit, block, hit in this way, two palms to the face or two jabs to the face. Hey, thanks for your interest in Praying Mantis style Kung Fu. This particular style is called Pick and Play Praying Mantis. There are many different subsets of Praying Mantis. I'm gonna also upload this to my Jake Mace Tai Chi Instagram page, so check that out. And you guys can email me or learn more about my online score or my DVDs at jakemace.com. Don't forget your sequence. Make sure you guys define your mantis stances and do these seven movements every morning when you first wake up. Fum, sa, pa, bang, fum, pa, pa. Again, fum, fum, sa, sa, pa, bang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.